And then lastly, I got this for Breeze because, you know, everyone needs to take a shit, so. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Saturday's vlog. This is going to be a total self-care day and just like fun, relax, chill vlog. I'm about to head into Cycle Bar. I have 10 minutes, well, like. A little bit of less 10 minutes then uh, when the class starts I'm gonna go in and probably not gonna get any footage in there because it's basically like the same thing so if you want to like see what it's like check out my workout video I'll link it down below but anyway I just want to start off this video we have a hair appointment a nail appointment just all the things it's gonna be a really good day okay so I got our cycle bar and guess where we are we went to Starbucks because I wanted to get my classic uh, espresso drink because it's so good they made it right it was a little confusing because I couldn't mobile order so I had to like you know tell them like actually like order normally um, but then they fixed it which is fine I just thought the guy was kind of confused maybe he's new or something but got the beverage and I swear the one in Hamlin like next to cycle bar is amazing like they always make the drinks really good like I don't know why but everything that they make like tastes better than the other Starbucks like it just they hit a little different so I'm um, gonna enjoy this and now I'm gonna be on my way to my hair appointment and I'm gonna tell Jasmine I am so sorry my hair is dirty and I was just lazy last night and didn't want to shower and then I like went to cycle bar and stuff so I'm, I'm sure she'll understand but I'm just gonna be like um my hair's dirty and yeah because we went to a little cycle bar sesh so I feel bad but you know I'll pay extra if she has to like wash it or something but um yeah I just I didn't get a chance to wash it and it's annoying and I feel bad but then after hair we have a nail appointment but I'm gonna go home because like I scheduled it so it's like later in the day because like I didn't want to have to be like everywhere like all at once so I'm gonna get on the road and um, this place is like 20 minutes away pretty much. Made it to Jasmine's little sweet here and basically we are doing this clarifying treatment to like brighten up my hair and then um, she's gonna do the gloss again so it'll be like um, just touched up and everything. So I'm super excited. She said my hair is like looks good and like feels good even though it's dirty like I did tell her. It's gonna be dirty, I'm so sorry. But anyway, I'm excited. I always love getting my hair done. Jasmine, I'm doing a whole like self-care day. Like I did cycle bar this morning, getting my hair done. I have a nail appointment this afternoon because I'm going to Destin. So I'm like, I feel like I'm becoming a whole new person. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so, right? Like today's just like a me day, it just yeah. feels like. Okay, so my hair looks awesome. You can't really see it because it's in the sprayed. Um, but I did purchase, um, I love supporting like small businesses and stuff. And since my hairstylist like runs her own studio and stuff, I like supporting her business as well. And so I got this Olaplex number no. nine bond protector. So she said it was kind of like a heat protectant, I think. Silicone free, a vegan. I don't know it just like looks cool and stuff and it was like only 20 something dollars so I picked this up and I'm thinking about just using it um, instead of my Moroccan oil like so I'm gonna probably finish that up and then when that's done with and everything like I'll just use this which is really good because like I do put heat on my hair sometimes like curling it and stuff so that's good and then I got this water because she offered like a water for the road and I always say yes just because I like this metal bottle if I can like get it open I don't know but the water is always so cold it's really cool and nice so now I'm gonna go home probably have a lunch and shower because like I really need to shower I didn't wash my hair or anything like you guys know and um, so yeah, I really need a shower and then I'm going to get my nails done. I hate driving all the way to freaking Winter Park 
from where I live, but I really like this girl, Ella, who does my nails. She always does like a really, really good job. It's okay. I'm not planning on taking tolls because um, I already took tolls like going to Cycle Bar and like coming here. So at least I don't have to take tolls. That's like the one positive thing. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go home now. All right, so we have this like squirrely. Uh, I don't know if you can see him, but anyway, that's kind of weird. Didn't know squirrels could like climb all the way up there. Okay, so I hand washed uh, a lot of like the cups I used and I ate. I just had the normal like lunch I normally have with the eggs and stuff, but I want to show you guys my hair. This is what it looks like all dried and it's a lot brighter. I'm glad that we did that. She did a little like bleach bath too to brighten up everything. So I'm really happy with it and um, yeah, I just, I'm really happy with my hair and especially like with it being summer and stuff, obviously like I want it bright and like a little, you know, sun kissed that sort of look. I just want to show you guys. I didn't want to like forget to show you. Um, on my way to my nail appointment now, because these are my nails right now, like look at how they're not as gross as last time, but um, I definitely need to get them done, um, especially for the trip. So I'm thinking about titling this like packing and prep for a trip or I don't know, some, some version of that. Uh, but I'm getting lemons. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to get or like ask Ella to do because it's really summer vibes, everything. And I'm really excited at the salon, probably going to get a few clips on the phone. Um, it's just like people doing nails. So anyway, um, this is what I'm going to get. I think they're adorable. Like they're lemons. So hopefully she'll be able to do that and like, they'll be cute and stuff. So um, I'm excited. I always love getting my nails done. It's a relaxing thing that I just really enjoy. Okay, so I just got out of getting my nails done. Sorry for the air conditioner. I'm just like, it is so hot here in Florida. Like summer is here guys, for real, it's hitting hard. But these are my nails. Like look at how freaking adorable. Like everyone was complimenting me on the nails. I think they're adorable. I'm trying to like make it so it's better lighting. But anyway, these are what they look like. For a more like in-depth uh, like view of them, you can check out my Instagram, but I love the designs. Like I love each month like getting something new. I'm so happy I went with them. My nail uh, artist, she was like saying, this was I think one of the first designs she had ever done and she had a hard time with it because she was new um, like back in the day. And I'm like, it's so funny that she like ended up doing it again like for me and everything. Okay guys, so as you guys know, I'm going away on a little trip with a group of people and I'm so excited. I started packing already just because I wanna be prepared and everything. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have like not really organized here, but just like have on my bed because I wanna start packing. Like there's no toiletries or like underwear or anything in this group here. But these are just things I wanna take with me. I made a list too on my phone, so I wanna show you guys. I don't know if you guys can really see this, but I just made a huge checklist of like things I don't wanna forget because when you forget stuff, I don't know, like it just sucks. And I kinda wanna just have like some options too. So I'm gonna go through everything and we're just gonna start from I don't know what because I literally just threw everything in, on my bed. I guess I will just start off with the outfit I'm driving down in, or driving up I should say, because we're going to Destin 
Florida. I've never been there and I'll probably never end up going back because there's no like huge reason to like for me to go there, but this is like kind of a cool thing. So um, yeah, anyway, so first off, I'm gonna be wearing like on the way there, I want something comfortable, but also cute because we're probably gonna be like doing stuff. I don't know, but um, I'm gonna bring this little Lululemon Align tank. It's black, it just looks like this. Um, super cute and pretty comfortable. It's really soft, so I'm going to be taking that and wearing that on the ride down and then I'm taking this little squirt it's like kind of a light green color Destin's really beachy and like beach themed light colors um, that's just my the vibe I'm getting so uh, I'm gonna take this and I'm wearing this also on the ride down it's so gonna roll her up and then we're probably just like gonna walk around and stuff I don't know nothing's like really set in stone but we just have like this little skeleton of a thing to do so we don't get there and be like what do we do you know so um then i think we might like grab something to eat this is like getting there and like hanging out outfit and then if we decide to go to the beach then i'm going to be taking these three bathing suits i brought three i'm definitely gonna be wearing this one it's my new amazon one because i like it and i want to get like really cute pictures in it so I'm gonna wear this one even if I wear it like twice in a row like no one will know or like care um well they'll know but like no one's gonna care but it just looks like this I tried it on in one of my other vlogs taking this can't really fold this because it's like a wire um but I absolutely love the bottoms I think they're super cute and cheeky I love them I think I should have sized up, but too late now, whatever. And then I'm taking this little bikini from Aerie. And we're gonna go to the beach probably on Thursday too, I'm not sure. So that's why I'm taking like three bathing suits. So I'm taking this nude one that looks like this. And then, um, and then last but not least, I'm taking my Fabletics one. I absolutely love this. It kind of fits weird, but it's okay. Just looks like this. I really shouldn't have bleached it because now it's like there's a little bit of a mark, but no one's gonna see it except it's on the side. It shouldn't matter that much, but it kind of, I don't know, I can't really show it that well here. Uh, I have the bathing suits, and then I think we're gonna do like a nice, like I really wanted a nice dinner. Um, again, I don't know if like everyone's gonna wanna do the same stuff, but I'm planning on going to like a nice dinner. So I wanted something like local and nice like in front of the beach because like that's what Dustin's known for. I am packing these white jeans. And then I'm also taking this really cute, um, I call it my work shirt because I wear it to work, but honestly it's like really beachy vibes, I guess. So I'm gonna take this, it's like a corally color too. It kind of gives me like, you know, the beach area vibes, like brown water and stuff, like Myrtle Beach, all the things. Um, so that is pretty much there's that is pretty much like Wednesday when we arrive. And then Thursday, um, I have a couple options for the outfits. So this is like, you know, we're probably just gonna be like hanging out or whatever. Um, so I have this really cute set from Zapple that I've like never worn, so I have the pants here, well they're shorts, and then I'm taking this bra because this bra like goes well with this set because it's kind of like thin and everything. So um, yeah, I have this is the top, but if I don't wanna wear that, like I wanted other options. So my other option would be this white skirt. This is from Target. Um, it might actually be like kind of bigger on my waist, but it's fine. Um, it's just a little pleated skirt with the shirt that goes with, with the Fabletics neon skirt. I have this one. I just like the different colors together rather than pairing them like together the same color and stuff. So those are my two options for like during the day on Thursday. And um, then we will probably go to the beach. And again, I showed you my bathing suit options. Um, and next up, I think, 
If we do a nice dinner, I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. I'm either going to be wearing one of those outfits like for the rest of the day probably, or if we go to a nice dinner or brunch or whatever. I have this really cute dress that I worked with this company called Pricier like a really long time ago. It was probably like 2018 and I love this thing. Like I still to this day like want to find places to wear it to. So I am going to bring this for like a nice dinner or a um, brunch if we do that because I know like some of them like to go to brunch and everything. I <laughs> Hate breakfast food but I do like brunch like the environment and the vibe that brunch gives but honestly like uh, it's not my like most favorite but I am always down to do like whatever and I think it's gonna be like fun so anyway this is like just in case like another little nicer outfit if we do that I don't know I just like having the options and like being able to just you know wear whatever um, so that's pretty much the clothes. The next few pieces are just like things I'm going to bring because like after dinner, like maybe we want to take some cute beach photos or whatever. So like on Pinterest, um, I was just looking at things or like pictures and everything. And like some girls had their bathing suits on with like oversized hoodies. So I have this one that just says celebration on it. And I'm choosing this one because I feel like I don't wear this one a lot in photos and I just want like different stuff going on in the photos. Next up I have this and I got this thrifting with my friend so I don't know this was like kind of cute on the beach as well like you know off the shoulder and stuff and it's not too thick so that's all good and well. Next up on some of the pictures or in some of the pictures. Uh, the girls had like jean shorts on with their bikini or bathing suit or whatever. So I'm like, okay, that's another option. So I'm bringing these high-waisted shorts that are jean shorts. And fun fact, I think these are the only jean shorts I own. Like I don't own a lot of jean shorts anymore, which is kind of weird. I don't know why. There's no like reason why. Another thing that I saw like girls wearing were like denim or like over over shirts or something like over their bathing suits so like the black bikini and just like this on the beach and they're like woo like I don't know <laughs> but I'm gonna bring this as like one of the cover-up type things for photos just because I think it's like it'll be cute and like another option and then which is so funny because like I almost never like go to the beach um, but I've gone to the beach like more than I ever have in my entire life this year so um, I think that's kind of funny. Obviously flip-flops for the beach gotta have these. Um, next up this is like the type of cover-up I would always wear like when I didn't have other options or ideas. It's just this Lily Pulitzer white thing and I've had this like since 2017 or 2016. I've had this thing for forever and it was really expensive and it's held up pretty well so I'm happy with it and I'm just gonna bring this because this is like what I would actually wear if I was like not planning on taking any photos or anything. Um, then I have my tripod here so like if no one wants to take pictures or we want to do group photos or whatever we have the flexibility to do that because of this beauty and it's just a uh, tripod you can get it on Amazon guys. I'm just starting period. It's not cool whatsoever. It's kind of depressing, but obviously pads and tampons cuz Gotta have those um, My hair straightener because I like to curl my hair and straighten my hair So this will like give me the flexibility if I like want to do whatever I don't know if I'm gonna actually use this I just want it again just to have as an option because I think it'd be like kind of cute to have curls like on the beach but I don't know if like I'm gonna have time for that. Like I don't know what's gonna be going on. Um, then I have this little pouch. I think I'm gonna take this, even though I have, I'm gonna have like my belt bag from Lululemon and like this bag because I think this bag is so freaking cute and I never get to use it. This is the um, Mini Palm Springs backpack from Louis Vuitton. I never get to use it, so I want to take it and use it because like it was really expensive. I used it like mostly in 2020 and 2021, but still like I love this thing and I never get to use it. So that's like a goal, like 
use the bag. But this Lily Pulitzer one, I got one. I actually got this thing, of this cover up, I think. And um, I think I got this and I'm gonna bring it because it's really good for the beach. It's like made out of plastic. So if like sand or like water gets on it, it's totally fine. And then my normal beach bag and everything is just this one from American Apparel and it just has like the big cities on it. Um, I remember I wanted this because Amanda Steele had it, um, Makeup by Mandy24, if anyone remembers her. Um, she had this bag and I was like, oh my god, I want it. So, um, I've had this thing, ooh, since 2013. Like, I've had this for forever. Um, so that's good. Also, I got this other cover-up and I forgot I got it. I've always wanted this because I've seen them in photos and I'm like, I need to get one. So, they actually came in a package of two. And they're just little wraps to wrap around your waist um, for your bikini. I use this trip as like an excuse to buy a couple things because like I never go anywhere really. So um, anywhere, I mean I go like local places, but I have this like cool, this is like a nude color, which I don't know if someone wants to use it, they can totally use it. But it is just this cute little like tie thing. So you just like, Put this, pretend like this is more my waist, you know? You just like tie it around. So I think it'll be like really cute for photos again. And yeah, I got them on Amazon. It was like $10, so. I shop a lot on Amazon because my credit card, you get like 5% cash back. And like anything in a store you can pretty much find on Amazon, so. Yeah, I have like a lot of cover up options going on here. My cousin actually like moved to Hawaii and goes to the beach and stuff. I don't know how frequently, but I know she goes to the beach. So if I ever like go there, I'm gonna have plenty of cover ups and like options to take with me. And I'm rolling these really badly, but it's fine. Um, next up, I got some new sunscreen. I've had the same sunscreen for a while and I don't like putting it on my hand and like rubbing it in, which I know that's kind of like picky of me to say, but like, I don't know. I just see all of these other ones that are like, you just spray it on and I want that because like I just think it'll be easier. So this was like on Amazon as well and it had like all good reviews. So it's called Sunbum and I got SPF 50 because I don't know, I feel like we're going to be in the sun a lot and like I really, really do not want to get burned. Um, so I'm packing the sunscreen and then I don't know. I'm pretty sure the Airbnb will have towels, but I'm gonna bring a couple towels because like sometimes I just like having my own stuff. So I have this Disney Cruise Line towel, which you guys have seen like a lot. And then this blue and green stripey one. So that'll be good. Um, also too, I'm bringing two hats. I was like trying to look for like a cowboy hat and I thought we ha would have one. I might have to ask Valerie because like you just see those girls like with the cowboy hats. I don't know who started that trend. I think it's kind of weird, honestly, but I kind of wanted a picture like that, but it's fine, whatever. We have this Luke's one. If you know Gilmore Girls, like I freaking love that show, watched every season. And then I just have this straw hat I got from Luca and Gray. It's adorable and I think it'll go well with my bathing suits and stuff. I always like to have a hat and sunglasses. My sunglasses are in my like everyday bag though because of like the brightness and stuff. And there was this like one time when I was like younger and because I like didn't wear anything like on my head or whatever, my forehead tanned more than the rest of my face. And it's finally like evened out I think now, but like I'm always conscious about that. That's why I keep a hat literally in my car because I cannot be having that happen. Like it's too much, man. Um, next up, I don't really have pajamas. I know that's weird to say, but like I wear like t-shirts, literally just like t-shirts that are like raggedy because I don't know guys, I just have a problem like spending money on stuff that like no one's gonna see and everything like that. So. I'm taking this lounge set as pajamas. They're really comfortable and they can be worn as pajamas because I have worn them as pajamas, but it's just this tie-dye Luca and Gray set. This is like one of my favorite things ever on this planet and I don't think I'm ever gonna part with it because it's just so comfortable. So 
I actually wrote on my list pajamas because there was this one time we did the staycation and I actually did forget pajamas. I have these socks. I'm gonna treat these like my slippers because I don't wanna bring my slippers. I mean, I might end up bringing my slippers, but if I don't, I'm just gonna like wear these because I don't know, you don't know what's on the floor, you know? Um, and then lastly, actually this isn't lastly, but I'm bringing this workout set just in case we wanna go to this like spin class up in Destin. I think it's kind of further away and we just don't know if we're gonna go or not, but I'm gonna bring this just in case, you know, if we, something comes over us and we're like, we wanna go. I'm not done yet. Um, so next up, I am bringing a roll of paper towels. Like anytime like my family and I go anywhere, we kind of bring paper towels because I don't like using towels. Like you don't know how like clean things are. And I don't know, it's just one of those things that I like to have my own paper towels. Um, and then I have my shampoo in this like mask. This is just in case if like my hair gets wet at the beach and like I wanna like wash my hair. I'm not planning on washing my hair this trip, but if I want to, like I'll have the option to. Going along with just like liking having paper towels, I like to have soft soap. Like some people provide like bars of soap to wash your hands and it's just like annoying when you have to like grab it and stuff. So we always take our own like stuff pretty much, especially like hotels. We bring our own soft soap because it just works out, especially we kind of learned that when we were like traveling back and forth and stuff um, to Ohio. And then lastly, I got this for Breeze because you know, everyone needs to take a shit. So <laughs> um, this is like, so you don't have to pee in embarrassment and like scared that, you know, someone else might use the bathroom, you know? So I'm gonna pack this because and leave it in the bathroom. It's so like, you just will feel more comfortable because shit happens, no pun intended. And then super, super lastly, I brought this cooler. I think this should be fine, kind of interesting. But yeah, it should be okay, I think, for like drinks. It's pretty deep in there. So, um, yeah. Okay, so for the nicer outfits, um, I'm gonna wear these because we're like in Dustin and stuff. It's like flip-flops, but they have like this little heel, so they're like, a little dressier and nicer, but not like too crazy. And then next up, we just have my Nike white tennis shoes because they'll go with all my outfits and stuff. And I don't have a lot of shoes, let's just be honest. I have like four pairs of shoes I wear. I'm taking these and I think that is pretty much it. So enjoy this little time lapse of me packing my suitcase. Also too, I wanted to add like this did not include like socks or underwear or like toiletries just because I need that stuff, you know, during the week before we leave. Like I need to brush my teeth, I need to brush my hair, I need to have deodorant, like all that stuff I'm gonna pack like the night before because like I need that stuff like for every day. So don't think I'm like not packing that, I just like can't pack it like right this minute because it's kind of early to like get all this stuff together. Okay, so I got everything under control and pretty much prepped. Um, I have my shoes in here because like shoes are dirty. I don't like mixing them with the clothes. I have like miscellaneous in here, just like stuff I want to take. Beach, the cooler obviously. And then I did the rolling technique. Paige uh, Norcut, I think. She was like teaching Sierra how to like pack like tightly. So she was like, just roll the clothes like you normally would in a cabinet or like a drawer. So that's what I did for this. So I can like see everything too. Like if I'm like looking for something. And then over here, I'm gonna put like, over here, I'm just going to put like toiletries and stuff like in this corner. Cause like there is like some room here, but that's pretty much it. And I'm all ready and packed. Obviously, I just have like a lot of necessities as well, like in my everyday bag. I don't know, whatever I have in my bag. <laughs> you guys know, because I just posted like a what's in my bag and I'm probably just gonna take that because it literally has everything that I use like on a daily basis in 
life. So I'm going to definitely just take that. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this little vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love watching these types of videos and like, I don't know, just find them relaxing as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.